Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. In this video today I want to show you a new collection by Catabella which is called Letters to Santa. So it's one of the new Echo Park Christmas collections. So I got the 12 by 12 collection kit as well as some individual 12 by 12 um, paper sheets and then I also got the 6 by 6 inch um, paper pad. And then for the embellishments I decided to get the adhesive breads and then also some chipboard accents and um, some frames and tags. So let's just start with the 12x12 collection kit and as I said I also got some individual sheets so there were some patterns I really liked so I had to get more of those but I will just share with you um, each pattern available. And when you're getting a collection kit by Echo Park or Carabella, you're also getting a one sheet of stickers. So it's a 12 by 12 inch sheet with a lot of different um, stickers you can use in your projects. And then you're also getting um, cutter parts. So you're actually getting three different sheets with journaling cards in different sizes. So there are journaling cards in the size 4 by 6 inches and 3 by 4 inches. But there are also square cutter parts, so journaling cards in the size 4 by 4 inches. And I really love um, using these journaling cards. So when I'm doing mini albums, I always include journaling cards. I think they are such great decorative elements. Um, and especially in this collection, I think there are some really cute images and um, also some quotes, which I like to include in my album. And the collection kits always include um, 12 different um, double-sided sheets of cardstock. So that's also why I always like to get some more cardstock um, individual sheets because um, when I'm using all the cutter parts, I'm not able to also use the pattern on the back side. And what I also love about the Carabella cardstock is that they all have some texture to it. And yeah, I think it's a really beautiful collection. So um, to be honest, I didn't like the other um, Christmas collections uh, by Echo Park this year. So this was definitely my favorite. Um, I especially like the floral patterns. So um, like this pattern, I will definitely use on the cover of my album. And I also really liked the colors in this collection. So it's actually a very like traditional color scheme with all the green and the reds but I think um, yeah it works really well together and I just love it for a Christmas album. And what I also found with this collection is that there are some like more basic patterns which you could mix really well with the patterns which are like more busy. So sometimes I have used collection kits where I really struggled because there were a lot of different images or patterns um, on the sheets but in this collection you get both so um, like the plate patterns are for me very basic and you could mix them very well with the more busy patterns like the center pattern or the floral patterns. I actually don't like this pattern so much, so I think the ornaments are really cute, but with the white background and all the um, different colors, um, yeah, I don't really like it so much. As well as for the snowflakes here, it's just too much white in the background for my liking. But all the other patterns I think are really cute and I can't wait to um, do a project with it. And these envelopes you could also um, cut out, do some fuzzy cutting and then use them as decorative elements in your um, mini album. And I think um, this wood pattern paper I actually got like 10 of because um, I think uh, wood patterns are just great to mix in with like more busy patterns so it goes well together with all the different uh, sheets in this collection kit. And then I also got the 6x6 inch mega pad. So this uh, paper pad includes 48 uh, sheets and then there's also a 6x6 inch pad with only 24 sheets. 
So of course the patterns are actually um, the same as the patterns for the 12 by 12 inch sheets but they are smaller so I always like to also get the um, 6 by 6 inch pads all, even though I'm doing a large mini album because um, for some elements in my album I just prefer the smaller patterns. So without talking too much I will just um, go ahead and show you all the different patterns included in the 6x6 inch pad. And as you can see there are also some cutter parts uh, included in the 6x6 inch paper pads and um, they are also all double sided so I will just show you um, both sides of the pattern papers. And what you're also getting in the 6x6 inch mega pad is um, all those regular cardstock sheets. So there are just some red cardstock and there's some black cardstock as well as some green. Um, so you're not getting these um, regular basic cardstocks in the 6x6 inch um, regular pad. So in the pad with the 24 sheets, um, but it's included in this 6x6 inch mega pad. And then I also got these um, ephemera pieces, so these are the frames and tags. Um, you are, can also get another package with more like um, images, illustrations, but I decided that with the chippered accents and the stickers I have enough of these images, but I really liked um, all these tags with um, the like greetings and um, quotes which you could use in an album as well. So as I said I also got the chipper accents and I think there's also another package of chipper accents with more quotes and um, yeah greetings but uh, for the chipper accents I decided to get the package with um, more images and I actually really prefer the chipper accents over the regular stickers um, because I think they just look much nicer in your album, they add a little bit of dimension and I especially love to use them on my album covers. And the last item I got from the collection is um, this package with adhesive breads and I really like to use breads on um, closures in my album. I also like to use them on the album cover for like an el elastic closure um, and then there are also some chipboard accents as well included in this package. 
But what I didn't really like are these um, breads with the pearls and also these like diamond breads. Um, so I will definitely not use them. But for the breads with the patterns, I think they're really great as decorative elements in your album as well. So what I noticed when I first saw this collection is that it's very similar to the collection which is called Happy Christmas by Carabella. So this is a collection from last year which I used for my advent calendar 8x8 inch mini album. And I just saw it and I thought oh the um, colors are very similar and they are also very similar patterns. So I still have some sheets left and I thought in this video I will just give you a little comparison um, between those two collections. So there are some patterns, as I said, which are very similar um, and I want to show them to you. So on the left side there are the uh, uh, sheets from the Letters to Santa collection and then on the right side there are sheets from the Happy Christmas collection. And because, as I said, also the colors are very similar, I will definitely use these more basic patterns um, from the Happy Christmas collection and mix them in together with the album I will be making with the new Letters to Santa collection. And because I noticed that these collections are so similar, I also had a look at the um, regular um, cardstock, so the basic cardstock um, solid paper pack. Um, and they looked completely the same. So um, I think the colors may be slightly different, but you can hardly notice. So what I decided to do is to not get the new solid paper pack um, for the Letters to Santa collection, but the old Happy Christmas solid paper pack, um, because this was already on sale because it's an older collection and the new Letters to Santa collection was a little bit more expensive. And as I said, um, I think the colors are almost exactly the same. And it's the same for the enamel dots, so I just compared them on my screen and they looked so similar that I decided to also get the um, package of enamel dots for the Happy Christmas collection, which was also on sale. And um, yeah, so I could save up a little bit of money um, and I think it works just fine. So just a tip for you, if you want to get um, the new Letters to Santa collection, you might want to have a look on the Happy Christmas collection as well. And then I also um, decided to get the 6x6 uh, six six inch paper pad for the Happy Christmas collection because I want to mix in some of the basic patterns um, with the new collection as well. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this whole video and um, please let me know in the comments down below what you think of this collection, if you're also getting it, if you have some uh, plans for projects um, you want to make with it. I'm actually really excited to do a mini album with the Letters to Santa collection. I also <laughs> Really can't wait for uh, Christmas season. I think uh, Christmas crafts are just very fun to do. And yeah, so I hope you're having a great day and then I see you in my next video. Bye.